Greetings and welcome back to Castle Goat on this, the seventh day of Nomus. Wow, I can't believe that we're already on the seventh day. That means there are only four more chances, including today, for people to win a free copy of Nomoria. But there is one amongst you who will no longer need these four opportunities, and that is... Evelyn Frost! Well done! I had to check for a moment when I rolled that number to see whether it was Irvine who won and not you, but no, in fact it is you, so congratulations! Now, back to Castle Goat. In the previous episode, we managed to start work on tiling the barracks area. We also had a bit of a letdown with a very small amount of nomads who came to the fort. That is, no nomads came to the fort. I was a little bit distressed by this, but I've gotten over my shock and the rest of the gnomes are busily trying to prettify the fort where they can in hopes that this will help to attract nomads, but I think we've all got a good idea of the only thing that we need to do. That is, work on the mushroom farms. Right, well, much to uh, my charging, I haven't really put enough effort into trying to get our tea farms going. So this is the beginnings of what I'm going to be working on. I've decided, against my original plans, which was to have the tea farm somewhere over here, I'd build them somewhere down here so it's a little bit less um, distance for the water to have to travel. And instead, this area is all going to be walled off and will lead to a way down into strip mines. It's important for me to get the tea farms, um, or the rather the mushroom farm areas, uh, dug down because they're going to affect where I'm mining later on. So this is what this is going to be for now. Um, and actually, whilst I'm here, I've decided to get rid of these doors. The primary reason is that I noticed in the last fight, when the goblins got close, they would just uh, pick up the doors and smack us around the head with them. It wasn't very fun. Now, I'm ha moving a load of dirt over there, as I can, um, to try and help with the prospecting. And there should be loads of dirt up here for them to move around, so there really shouldn't be any issue with that. We have got an enormous amount of wheat grain as well as straw, honestly. And to that end, I am currently building a bunch of bags. I think some of them are ready. So let's get those built. Uh, storage, bags, how many have we got made? We've got nine so far. Well, there are going to be 10, and there are 10 spaces, so I'll just set them up. And you guys can start ferrying stuff into them right away. Now, ah, fantastic, you're already down here. Who's that dapper jester? Well done. Now, I want that area to be dug down as well. Basically, we're going to have four 5x5 five five farms. I may expand them to be entirely two rows with a stairs leading up into the pasture area and then up onto uh, the workshops that will actually be making use of it, the still, etc. The wall I'll be building later, but around this, I will be building another wall. Um, I don't really want this large area to be connected. I mean, I might expand it later on, but I can always just dig through the wall when that time comes. But, for the time being, now that those doors are moved, I really would like those doors to be uh, stored, actually, somewhere, please, now. Um, no, I suppose that isn't too much of an issue. I should, however, get some more crates made, I think. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get six more crates. Don't really mind what they're made out of. Let's see what we've got the most of. Um, we'll make it out of pine. There we go. And I'm just going to extend this stockpile. We are back to using this stockpile at the moment, unfortunately. But hopefully we will start getting things back in order, especially once tea production is up properly. As you can see, I have changed my mind a few times on how I'm going to... Ooh, an email was born. How I'm going to tile this area, but I'm fairly happy with what I've got now. I may continue to kind of scramble the uh, pattern that I've got the straw currently laid down in, but I'm, I'm more or less happy with that. Now, uh, emu? What kind of emu are you? You're a male. Oh, you poor sod. Well, good luck. You will need it, because uh, Deathbot is on the prowl, I hear. Now then, um, with that in mind, I'm going to suspend this stockpile. It was currently set up as two, just to get more stuff in. But I'm happy with the amount of cleanup that's been done. And uh, they can focus on other things like moving uh, seeds and things around. 
Now, it is about to go sunset. In fact, since, yeah, it's right around the corner. We're going to be focusing on this for the remainder of the episode. I would really love it to get the pasture starting to be seeded with grass, and then moving on from that, also have the tea farms set up. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ha ha, I spotted you. Eye in the sky for the win. Now, I have gone back to, uh, following some advice, I have gone back to defend gnomes. So, right now, no one knows that the goblins are there, so I want everyone to take their battle stations, please. And then we will be prepared for the fight that is coming. When the merchants arrive this summer, uh, which is pretty much tomorrow, we are going to do... Ooh, we've got one giant sword and a giant hammer. Okay, well, that's actually not too bad. There's only one who can lop off limbs or cause bleeding injuries. Relatively happy with that. Um, I'm going to swap the military now back to defend gnomes. So the moment they spy an enemy, they should all funnel out and immediately engage. Have they all been set? No, not yet. Oh, there we are. Okay, everyone is funneling into the area here. Unfortunately, they are going to still grab those doors because we didn't get rid of them yet. That is a shame. But there is a lot of gnomes there. Even Rick with his one arm. Well done, Rick. Is Shelab there or is Shelab asleep, perhaps? Only three people are asleep. That's fine. But everyone else is funneling in. There's Shelab. She's on her way. Right, well, good luck. Ooh. No, nothing. I don't think anything bad has happened yet. But let's just see how this is going at, down so far. Goblin's left eye has been temporarily blinded by Leo the Jester. Anything else yet? Goblin falls to the ground. I punched him. Where did I hit him? In the right leg. I was aiming for his crotch, but that'll do. Goblin has died. Let's check that out. Who got the killing blow? We must know. Upper body's bleeding because Deathbot bit him. Wow, I need to get you some sort of chew stick or something. You clearly need to uh, be gnawing on something to get your teeth less sharp. That is just dangerous. There we are. Flying staplers bites the go- Ooh. There are already enough rumours about flying staplers being a vampire. This isn't helping. She basically bit her way through his chest and into his lungs. Well done. But that's one down. Let's zoom in. This one with the really dangerous weapon is still there, though. Let's see. You're the one... Copper Claymore, how are you doing? You're in good health. That's not good. I want you dead soon. Okay, another one is down, but it isn't the one we wanted. Someone is bleeding badly. Who is that? Rick's blood. Oh, please don't tell me Rick has lost another arm. No, he's still got his other arm. Good, good, good. We'll zoom right in for this. Goblin's down. I think the Claymore wielder is down. Claymore, yeah. Okay, the rest of this fight should be easy for us at this point. It's just a matter of wearing down that goblin's armor there. Well done, everyone. I am very proud of you. Soon, we will actually have a dedicated military. That is one of the goals of this season's training, is to get enough ore to make a full set of bronze, ideally for two soldiers to be permanently assigned. That would be the best situation, as far as I'm I'm, I'm concerned. Well, we're not going to hurt for food, though. Now, you may notice that our food stocks are only 55, but we've got an enormous amount of, of wheat grain around. Um, the reason for that is that the kitchen is only making 10 loaves of bread at a time. It'll make up to 64 sandwiches, so as soon as there's, there's sausage available, it immediately makes uh, makes bread. Hmm, I thought I'd set this up. Clearly I have not. We want a sausage omelette in there, please. Above the cheese omelette. The sausage omelettes should be made... Um, for example, if there's no bread available, but there are sausages and there are eggs, make sausage omelettes um, and cheese, obviously, because they are better... They're the best of the omelette. If we haven't got sausages, but we do have cheese and eggs, make cheese omelettes, and so on and so forth. We are never going to be using up our mushrooms for omelettes. As delicious as they are, I'm afraid that we have other plans for our mushrooms. I'll leave you to that for now. But uh, let's hope we can get some decent food off these guys. Is this suspended for some reason? No? Good. Chop, chop. We want some sandwiches. They're very important. 
But the rest of this night now, I suppose... Well, we don't really need any more marble at, the, at present. We've done all of the decorations that we need with the marble. So I'm happy to leave that up there and focus on trying to just get everything else in order so that we can uh, develop our own strip mine down this side. Well done there. Now, the way that we're going to be channeling in this water is through here. And... For the time being, we're going to let it come out as far as this point, and then stop. That That's the plan, at any rate. Then we will continue to uh, dig through. Chop, chop. Okay, good. Now, let's get you down there. Um, yeah, I suppose we could just do holes. We can do holes as far back as this. We'll remove that wall. Yeah, that'll be a safe wall to remove for now. So deconstruct this one. Dig a hole there. Or do we even need to? Actually, I don't believe we do. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that done. And then we'll allow the water to channel into there. And once that's full enough, we'll get it to channel out into the... Um, spaces beside each of these um, waterways and then eventually we will we'll do the rest what the plan I've got with this is to once we've got enough water in here to flood these I'll fill in a hole there and that will prevent any more water flowing in then I'll just open up all of this and we'll flood them and hopefully that'll muddy everything it has been spotted. The sun has risen. Three, mer three merchants have arrived. Fantastic. Quickly get into the fort. Um, right. Actually, thinking about this, perhaps I'm being a bit premature with digging that down. In fact, I feel that I may be. I think, yeah. We're going to want to sort these out first. So how about we get down there and actually mine all of this out. And then we're going to have to replace it all with dirt before we do anything else. Because obviously we can't grow this on uh, muddy basalt. Well, we probably could if we could make muddy basalt, but I don't think we can. So uh, if you could pop down there. In fact, actually, what am I doing that for? Why don't I just uh, dig ramps down instead? That will sort that out. And then I'll rebuild the walls that I need to be built. So there we go. Let's get that working. And we'll get this deconstructed as well. And just finish that off on that side. Right, well, as the merchants are on their way, it is time for us to make some jewellery. What's our kingdom worth? Twenty Whoa, bloody hell, 26k? That's a bit harsh. Right, we'll try and trade as much as we can then. Before then. Are you here? Oh, yes, you are. Fantastic. Right, let's see what we've got. Um, we have got an awful lot of dirt. Wow. Uh, let's see. Pine logs? No, we don't want to sell any of our trees, thank you. Copper? or oh, no. Emu hide? No, we'll keep hold of that. We definitely need leather in order to make uh, the armor that we're going to be doing. But I can sell a, a vast amount of these, so I'm going to sell 300 of those. Get rid of those cotton seeds straight away. Mushroom seeds? Obviously, we're keeping those. Orange clippings, app clicking. No, we'll keep that. How much straw have I got? Has that already been listed? No. Well, I may sell some of the straw because we really won't need a lot of that. Goblin meat. Superior loaf of wheat bread. Fantastic. Poor goblin sandwich. How can a goblin sandwich ever be poor? I refuse to believe such a thing. Grape wine. Lots of poor. In fact, we may just flog the poor stuff. Poor orange wine as well. Wow. Whoever made all of this wine, you're crap. I need to find someone better. Well, that's brought us up to 381. Uh, loads of skulls. That's actually pretty good. Copper bar. We've got six copper bars. That's nice. Markite bars, silver bars. 
Poor cut sapphire gems. No, we're going to be uh, making them pretty nice in a moment. Masterfully cut sapphire gem. Wow. That is fantastic. Uh, loads of bandages. I mean, this is pretty good just to look through to see what uh, kind of stocks we've got. Superior basalt statuette. No, we're going to sell all of these statuettes. So you, all of you are gone. Sorry. That's brought us up to almost a grand. That's actually really nice. We can sell those two basalt doors just to get them away. Um, wait a second. What did I just sell? Yeah, I did sell. Hmm. Get rid of you as well then. Uh, marble statues? Oh, no, they're over there. Oh, no, actually that can't have been placed yet. I'm not sure where that was meant to go, but I'm going to keep keeping that. Uh, pine torch? No. Cop helmet, cop breastplate? No, we're keeping those. Marble pillars? We actually do want those and to set them up, in fact. Pine sticks? No. Knife, ball pin hammer. And the training dummies. Copper slivers. 15 copper slivers. Wow. Got quite a lot, actually. Fine yaks cheese. I approve of that. A poor pine wheelbarrow. You get. Right, we've got exactly 1k. We want a male alpaca, please. Yes. No, only one. You only want one, you fool. All right. Uh, we don't need any of that wine. We will take the remaining mushroom seeds, though. Don't need any corn or any of that. We will take... Well, you've got a decent amount of ore. Uh, okay, we're going to take your tin ore. And... Let's see. We'll take nine of these so something for ten is all we want now don't need any orange cookies uh, no. I'm not gonna fall for your trap again though you have got some nice uh, colors of stones actually but I will take two of those there we go right let's do that trade and now see how our kingdom worth has been affected it's dropped by about 2k that is good enough. Right, jeweler, I would like you to make a gemmed necklace, please. It's going to require two bars. Use the two silver bars for that. Craft that gemmed necklace, and... Uh, go on, then. Make two malachite rings. Get to work. Once that's done, we will immediately sell those to one of the other traders and hopefully get a bunch of bars. And we're already starting to convert this. That's actually pretty good. We should have plenty of bars to make the armor smith. But with that in mind, have I built that yet? I need a leather worker. No. Um, you know what? Let's uh, agriculture, forage, just forage this. No? Hmm. I'm going to just delete this then. We need the room now, so remove designation, then forage. This is how you get rid of a farm that you've made that you don't want anymore. We'll, we'll farm what's there. We don't really need to worry too much about uh, the planted seeds. We'll just get rid of those and replant in a moment. Everything's going to be replanted up there, that is. We've got enough room. We haven't even finished off that field, so... It's not really a big concern to, to lose a couple of plants. But we really, really do... Ooh, another yak. Oh, sorry about this. I do apologise. Uh, right, so you're probably going to be straight away working on more things there. Right, has this been done? Yes, fantastic. That's worth 900, my lord. That's worth 427. Well done. Um, we could get some more female yaks, really, if we wanted to. 
But let's see what else you got. Marble, sandstone, bauxite, serpentine, lapis lazuli. Um, no, copper ore. Okay. Well, we're going to continue to work with this particular... Oh, actually, no, we're going to get some new mushroom seeds. Mushroom seeds? Yes, fantastic. I will take them all. We do not need the silver ore at all. Now, let's find what we need to sell in here. Uh, no, we don't need the slivers. We want the necklaces. I wish there was a way that you could filter this to very quickly find what it is that you wanted to sell. Because I know exactly what I want to sell. It's just... Uh, finding in the list. Ah, here we are. Ah, oh, really? 360? You swines. Rip off merchants you are. But fine, I will accept. That fine basalt statue, though, for a single block of stone, worth 15. Yes, I accept. Uh, a yak statuette? What? Oh, I think it's been made of yak's bone. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, you've already made a fair bit. That's already more money than we had before. That is crazy talk. Uh, well, this is fantastic. Um... Get a little bit more tin then. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We'll take ten tin. I can't remember exactly how much we had. No, we won't take in ten tin. Uh, actually, no, we'll take one copper back. There we go. You know what? I'm feeling so happy with having all of these mushroom seeds. I'm going to let you have a little bit of profit. Well done. I'm sorry, you've kind of come in and it's going to be useless because I really don't want anything you have. But that should help a lot. Let's just check. And our total kingdom worth has gone down. That is a good thing. I know it doesn't it doesn't make sense that it would be a good thing, but it really, really is. Um, I may flog some of the dirt we've got, though, just to make some room. I'm not sure. We'll have a think. But for now... Uh, actually, we could make a couple more gems. We've got plenty of bars now. I know we'd be using the copper, but at the very least we'd get some uh, mon more stuff out of it. We could buy more copper. I imagine we'll get more out of it than we put into it. So, go ahead. Make all nine of them. And we will sell them as we get them. There we go. That's actually not bad at all. Right, we need some crates that we built. It is just past one, so we've got plenty of time before night falls. And we have to panic about our kingdom worth being way too high. There we go. Right, get those crates built, please. This is important. But so far, the trading has been quite good. Right, what will happen here? We need to re uh, replace this terrain, I think. Uh, we also need to forage these. Oh, it looks like the seeds will actually keep growing, even though they're not a part of a farm. I didn't realize that. That's actually pretty good. Right, we want a workshop, and we want a leather workshop. Where are you? It'll be under miscellaneous. Leather worker. There we are. That'll do. Oh, I can plant it straight over the top. Well, I may as well then. Go ahead. Let's get some leather made. Now, I'm not going to be setting up the automated crafting with this, at least not yet. Um, it's not something that's a high enough priority, and I haven't looked at it enough yet to know exactly what I'm going to want to keep a stock of at any one time. Probably leather straps, if I recall correctly. But uh, for now, this is good enough. Uh, let's get that dug down as well, please. Dig ramp. Now, over on this side, we are going to have a stairs going up. So I may as well dig that. And for the time being, just make a little entry there. And then I can get rid of all of these ramps. So yeah, I quite like that idea. Let's dig this wall so it's straight across. Actually, let's go down to the right level. There we are. So we're going to have the stairs somewhere over here. I would say... 
We'll make it a little uh, stay well. I prefer that. We'll mine a stairs up. It can be that's a little job. In fact, we can uh, mine the stairs down from up there. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll cancel this job and we'll put the, the stairs leading up on that side. And then we can have a, a torch in the middle, perhaps. That should work out well. Now, where are you guys and why are you going outside? What are you trying to collect from out there? Shouldn't be anything out there that you want. On the plus side, we are almost finished with that level of the terraforming. This is very, very good news. I think on the next day, we'll probably go outside and uh, harvest a lot of stuff from outside. The trees, that is. Right, how many of these have you made now? Uh, I actually don't think you've made any yet. That is a shame. Wow, we've already got all the copper bars we need. Oh, happy days. Right, well, we need to have a look at what the metal... Uh, the armorsmith is going to need, then. Metal. Armorer. An anvil. We've already got the ballpoint hammer, a hearth, and a bellows. So... Forge. Can you make me an anvil? Out of copper? Fantastic! In fact, move that up. I want that done before anything else, please. I would like a hearth from you. And a bellows from the carpenter. We are so close now to being able to make our armor. Obviously, I need to turn the copper into bronze. And that is going to be a bit of a bit of a pain, but it doesn't really matter what the balance is made out of. Let me just re-familiarize myself with the process of making bronze. Uh, making a bar requires any ore. Alright. Is that really all it takes? Or any stuff? Okay. Make a bronze bar, you actually need the tin bar or copper bar. This was always something that I was concerned about when I used to play um, with the spider slaughter. Initially, I was always worried that by using up the ore to make a tin bar or a copper bar, for example, that I couldn't then use it to make a bronze bar. I assumed that I needed to smelt the ores together to make the alloy whilst they were still ores. But that isn't the case. You just make the, the ingot of tin or copper and then you create bronze out of that. But I am going to be waiting on making the bronze until I've got everything else ready and I know exactly what I want in terms of leather and all of the other gubbins before I start making the bronze because that is going to make my kingdom worth start to skyrocket. Unfortunately, even just bars of alloy seem to have a high kingdom worth. Now then, has everything else been made or are we still not doing that for some strange, bizarre reason? Let me check my stocks. We want gems. No, we don't. We want jewelry. No, we haven't got anything yet. So it's going to take a few minutes, I imagine, for them to work out what they're doing. And it's almost sunset. So I'm probably going to pause the recording here. Ah, I sold my doors, didn't I? Why didn't someone stop me? Duh. I'm going to pause the recording here. After I make a new door, or rather I'm going to set a new door to be made, and I shall return you when something happens. Probably a goblin invasion, or possibly we'll have started to create some gems. So, see you in a few minutes. Or tomorrow, as the case may be. Yes, it is unfortunately that time for me to wrap up this episode, but what a fantastic episode it's been. We've managed to make some extremely valuable jewellery, which in turn has allowed us to purchase probably as much ore as we're going to need to create, at the very least, one full set of bronze armour, and the bronze tower shield, which is my goal. Ideally, I'd like two people training against each other with the tower shield so that they become very good at blocking, very good at using it in an offensive way, though it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. But the, the goal here is to have two trained soldiers who will taunt our enemies to rain all of their blows down upon them impotently, for they will be blocking them with their massive two-handed shield, whilst everyone else just kind of like bites them with the scruff of the neck or kicks them in the back of the knee, etc, etc. Until we get to a comfortable position where we can actually have 
an offensive military, uh, people training who actually have weapons. It'll be a little ways down the road, but the next episode I imagine we're going to start seeing those armour pieces made. I'm not sure how this is going to affect our kingdom worth, and I am a little bit concerned about that. But those concerns can wait until the next episode. I do hope you've enjoyed this one, I hope you will join us for the next, and for those of you who are about to take part in the 7th day of Nomas, best of luck. But until next we meet, do take care.